I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. When did everyone realize they were gay? Um, probably like end of high school after my first relationship. Uh, it was a girl, and it was just not for me. Um, I think for me, it was in middle school. It was like before puberty. So I was just kind of figuring things out for myself. And also other kids were understanding too. So that really helped me to find myself when I would talk about it. 15. Oh. So I know exactly when it was. <laughs> I grew up in a very religious home and I too was in relationships with, with girls. So um, what I did was I, I, hid, I hid myself for a long time. Mm -hmm. So it's, I'm trying not to tear up. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't until the pandemic <laughs> when I came out to my little brother. I actually knew when I was eight. Um, my grandma took me to see Mamma Mia, and if you've seen the movie, you know the beach scene, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I knew something was just a little bit off about me when I realized that I was more attracted to Sky than I was Sophie. I'm like, something about him. You know, mine honestly is right after Twilight came out. <laughs> Robert Pattinson, I don't know. So Yo, who's team, uh, who's so team? Good. So good. Of course, of course, um, Pattinson for sure. Um, Edward. I knew in middle school, like, there was something up with me. I was like, I like men. That's 100%. But I called myself bisexual. And then freshman year in high school, I was just like, I'm gay. Like, the way I feel about women is not, nothing like the way I feel about men. Okay. I already revealed mine, but what is everyone's favorite celebrity crush? Mine is also a vampire. It's Paul Wesley from okay. Vampire Diaries. He okay. was like my gay awakening, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, mine was Robert Pattinson, so I'm a vampire. Yeah, we got... Ross Lynch. Something about that man is just... Ooh, uh, just, ah, uh, I just love Ross Lynch. Yeah. <laughs> Prince and Idris Elba. Mine, mm. was, mine right now, I think, is, is Pedro Pascal. You're on the Pedro Pascal He's train? So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I'm your daddy. Matt Bomber uh, from mm. White Collar. Love, like, the snake yeah. eyes are so sexy. <laughs> like, that's it. What do you guys hate about straight men? Their inability to, like, take criticism oh or take God. no as yes. an answer. Yeah. Like, what is up with that? Like, I understand patriarch and all that, but still. I know, like, consent. Literally. Um, their inability to have any sort of fashion. It's just <laughs> t-shirts. <laughs> just yeah. about the and same jeans. T-shirts, jeans, or, like, just basketball shorts. You know, you know, you see those men who clearly use, like, the three-in-one shampoos, and I'm just like, <laughs> oh, my God. How? They brush their teeth with it. Yeah, like, like I swear. Oh, my God, this one guy had a ten-in-one. I did not even no want to way. ask what it meant. Lucifer, I just wanted to ask you, um, so you said at 15 is when you knew, right? That, that you were gay? Yes, that's when I came to terms with it for myself. And then you said, at co like during COVID, was when you told your brother? Yes. So that whole time he didn't know? No. Really, how, how did that feel for you? Because <sighs> were you guys close or? We were, but I moved from Memphis when I was 18. Okay. We've been long distance for all that time. I see. He really didn't make a big deal out of it. Just told me that he loved me no matter what. I see. Well, I can, can I ask why did you not come out to him earlier if you guys felt so comfortable together with that? Or yes. supportive? Yes, so for me, when I was growing up, the thing that mattered most was getting married and having a family. I had to keep that facade a long time. I was actually practicing to be a minister in 2012, oh, wow. right when uh, President Obama uh, declared gay marriage uh, legalized nationwide. And when I was in... I want to hear more. Hey, have you spotted the mole yet? Well, hang tight because we're going to get there. Until then, subscribe to our channel. And now let's get back to the video. That, that tank top that he's wearing is, is really tacky. Sorry, just the jeans and his shirt. Good luck, guys. It, it kind of hurted a little bit. Kind of hurted. Why do you think they were suspicious of you? Um, mainly because I'm wearing just jeans and a t-shirt, but I look stylish and I look amazing, so. Um, Lucifer, I remember you were mentioning that, like, gay marriage was being legalized in 2012, but it was 2015, right? 2013. Yeah, that's 2013? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, like, yeah, because it was, I, I remember it precisely. I was, I was on the phone with my pastor, actually, when that announcement was made. He was running in 2012, so, yeah, he right, would have. Right, So, 15? 16? I'm bad at math. I'm terrible. Well, it, 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 took, it took a while for it to actually go into legislation. Gotcha. So you can say 2012, but if you're 
technically, yes, it, it did take a, okay, a, okay. a few years into that second term before it was actually registered. What are some things you look for in a guy? Oh, creativity, um, style, and confidence. Number one would be hygiene. Yes. I bathe at least twice a day, if you know, if not more. We're in a drought. So, <sighs> not <anymore. laughs> baby, please look. You know, I gotta freshen up. So I expect yeah, yeah, that yeah. from someone else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. I get that. Yeah. Yeah, my boyfriend, every time I, or my ex-boyfriend. Oh, no. Yeah, every time I'd come in, like, the room was just super messy. And, like, I'm really big on bathroom cleanliness. Mm. Yes. Mm. It's the last place you are at night and the first place you are in the exactly. morning. Exactly. And most traditional men are just um, dirty in the bathrooms. Right. Um, for me, definitely funny. And, I mean, obviously, you have to look good. Like, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's not started, though. <laughs> Mine is basically somebody that could just hang and vibe with me. I'm a very active person, whether that be, like, I'm going out hiking, I go out mm. working out. Height doesn't really matter. I mean, haven't found anybody <laughs> as tall as me <laughs> yeah. yet. Um, How are you? 6'6". Six, six. Okay. How tall are you? 6'2", uh, but I have these on right now, so a little bit taller. I love those, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah, they're they're brand cool. new, they're Doc Martens. Me too, me too. <laughs> Look at I love ducks. These are the brand new model. They have little. Yeah, hooks. I okay. know. I saw those. Oh, I saw so those. Cool. Did That's you so miss cool. the memo that we were supposed to wear boots today? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I did. You know, I do prefer men that are shorter than me, um, a little more on the submissive <laughs> side. We're out. Um, I hate the bottom. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, all right. I'm just being. I'm just being honest. I guess because I was in such a controlled environment for so mm. many years, I just have a way of controlling that space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we run down and say what we are? Like, you already answered. Yes. We'll say bottom. Top. Or verse. Top verse. I, I say I'm a, I'm a verse top. Yeah, mm -hmm. verse bottom. He's definitely a bottom. Ricky is a bottom for sure. Did you see what this man was wearing? Had the midriff and all. Yeah, just takes the right person for me. Yeah, I agree. I think it's very dependent. But honestly, like, the verse comes in more so when it's with, like, hookups and stuff like that. Well, baby, I'm a Scorpio, so like. <laughs> Me too. Oh, oh, oh nice. <laughs> so nice. When Matt dapped up Lucifer, that that was I was like, okay, that was a little, that was a little straight. That felt very hetero to me. Ew. Oh, and my other thing, <laughs> if they're open to threesomes, because I mm. I want to do that. Hey, say it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking if you're out help. there and you're open to threesomes, Get Lucifer is available. Right <laughs> <laughs> I think it's better on paper. I'm not gonna, I just wanna break the truth to you. Yeah. Really? Because it's just like, it's just another person. It, it just gets a lot. I don't it know. Is. I just feel like. I, I right? completely agree. It's more of a novelty, for sure. Is it yes, like a lot yes, of just sitting around? around or... <laughs> <laughs> sitting around, yeah, just one waiting. Person's waiting. When's the yeah, train, yeah, guys? No, no, it's like, no, it's like two at a time. I mean, it's like great. Let's do a round of smash or pass. Dominic Fike. Smash. Yeah. smash. Michael B. Jordan. Smash. smash. Ooh, smash. Creed 3. Oh mm, my Creed god. Creed 3. The Rock. Mm. What? Oh, Chris. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I'm so what? sorry. Oh my god. Wait, that's, that's so surprising to me because you said that you were a top, like you like being in control. Dude, The Rock? Yeah. Okay. I can tell you. Oh, so you might be a People shorter bottom. than you. Wait. Yeah, I am. But the I Rock mean, is huge. I've, okay, been, I've been watching wrestling for a long time too. Mm. Ain't nobody talking top in the rock. Come on. That's sus. Rock's ugly. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. Oh, they bitches. They jealous. They see, they see, they see I'm totally star power. They just didn't want to share the money with me. I'm not someone that gets offended easily, but bitch, that offended me. I am offended. This is, this is the shit I'm talking about. This makes no damn sense. Look at me. What? Do I look straight to you? Come on. You want to continue playing because you think that there's potentially still a liar among the four of you in the box? Raise your hand on three, all right? One, two, three. Wait, raise your hand is continue playing? Yes. Uh, I'm not sure. So you four are confident that the mole is out. Is that correct? I think so. I can unconfidently say. Yeah. <laughs> These are like my besties right here. <laughs> 
So that means the game has ended. If the box turns green, you have correctly voted the mole out, and you four will share a cash prize. If the box turns red, that means the mole is still among you four, and they win the cash prize themselves. Are you guys ready? I, I knew I was unconfident. Don't act I was surprised. unconfident. I said, what? I said. No. Why would I act surprised? This is. One of you aren't my besties. All right. So the mole has won. And on the count of three, I'm going to have the mole step forward. One. Two. Three. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? We're all the most. Let's, 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 let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I think there was Damn. a mix up, you guys. Look at us. We are besties Bro. after all. I was very We're confused. All the most. I was yeah. like, you had me with the fit, Ricky. For real? Honestly, yes. Dude, thank you. Dude, this is my girlfriend's tea. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I thought everybody misheard the question. Dude, I, I took a step and I was like, are these people stupid? Like, why is everyone else stepping up? Like, I, I'm only straight, dude, y'all are gay. I thought that everyone was, was gay. Have either of you ever been mistaken as gay or more feminine? Oh, yeah. Yes. 100%. Yes. 100%. Yes. 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 For a long time. Uh, I know, every night I feel like when I go out with my friends or whatever, I get hit on by more guys than girls sometimes, and yeah. it's um, it's very common, yeah. I got uh, mistaken for being gay a lot of the time. I even, I'll be honest, I went on dates with guys because so many people were suspecting me of it, but I was just like, that's not me. After being on those dates, I was like, I like women. That's a, that's a fact. My story that I was telling was very genuine. I'd suppressed my, I guess, my alternative to being macho straight for a long time because I just don't fit the mold for the typical straight guy. There's always questions of, is he or isn't he? Fucking hell, dude. <sighs> I've been training for this for a week. How did you train for it? Bro, I faced on all my gay homies. They were saying like, I'm gonna be a verse top because that's like the least sus, but it's also gay. Dude, I practiced walking, I practiced my fits. I was doing like 360 Snapchat videos. Like, damn, do I look gay or not? Like, does my ass pop? I work at Urban Outfitters. There's a lot of gay men. He helped me pick up this nail polish. I called all my gay friends and I watched like a whole bunch of drag. I watched so much drag, bro. Like, and it's actually really good. So I would probably keep watching like after this. I think my game plan was to just uh, not offend anybody. I hope I, yeah, hope I stuck to that. I was, cause I I'm very inclusive. I applied for this episode because, especially right now, with the whole red pill movement, Aiden Ross, Andrew Tate, the toxic male um, influences out there, that it's very important to show like other men, and especially younger men that are coming up into this world, that it is okay to be feminine. Is it okay, is it okay to express your emotions? Is it, is it okay to be vulnerable? Accept everyone. It doesn't matter what your looks, sexuality, gender are. Just accept everyone. Yeah. Everyone's a little bit different. And don't be mad if you're not as confident as the people who are. Like not jumping to conclusions and not like stereotyping anyone, uh, letting them speak for themselves. Yeah. I changed my lock screen to a dude as well, bro. This is my homie Nick. Bruh. He's in the bed. I said, yo, send me a <laughs> selfie with you with your nipple. He sent it. Yeah. This... I put a picture of mine like that this too. This is my boss. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, yeah, like, I'll do. Respect, I'll do. Because yeah. I was like, if I turn my phone on, they see yeah, my phone. Yeah, I was like, show that, me your lock yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah.